your Bible with me this morning in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5. I know there are some of you who write down every Sunday what I preach on and make a note of it in your text. I'll give you something you can write down today. You'll see something you've never seen before and good Lord willing you'll never see again. And that's me in dress pants and white socks. Uh, I can't can't stand my dress can't stand dress socks all the way up my leg on my sore leg so uh, I just have to look uh, whatever that whatever look that is so uh, and the second thing is you can write down he's in over his head uh, if you've ever uh, if you've ever heard that phrase in over their head uh, I am about to demonstrate it uh, as uh, I tackle uh, a topic that um, honestly uh, and sometimes uh, gets covered over about a week or so uh, in uh, marriage retreats and that is. Uh, the crazy cycle. Now, I know some of you think uh, the crazy cycle is uh, what your mother-in-law rides. I know, uh, you know, but uh, that, that's not it at all. Uh, and Debbie, why don't you turn around and look at Geraldine when I said that? <laughs> oh, okay. You saying she can't ride a bicycle? Oh yeah, she can do anything. Oh, okay. I just seen where you was going with that. She can do anything. Okay. The crazy cycle, um, and <laughs> Paul writes about it in Ephesians, um, and uh, we're going to try to cover it in just a few minutes, and, uh, and, and honestly, one of the things uh, that uh, I hope you uh, pick up as we uh, look at this this morning is Paul writes in Ephesians chapter 5, and just to summarize it, he says simply, uh, husbands love your wives, wives reverence or respect your husbands. Um, and uh, in that statement, um, he gives us uh, a clue to the crazy cycle. One of the things I've noticed as I've, uh, as I've uh, studied this and prepared for this morning um, is Paul obviously is directing his message um, at husbands and wives. Husbands, love your wives. Wives, respect uh, your husbands. But I, I've noticed as I, uh, as I think about that and I think about uh, relationships, I think about um, dealing with people and uh, over the years, uh, co workers and uh, family members that while Paul mainly uh, obviously directs this uh, at the relationship between a husband and wife, uh, if you'll take what, uh, what, what, uh, what I'm about to share with you this morning, um, and, and you will remember this when you're dealing with men or women, uh, th- this is true whether you're talking about in your marriage or not. I, I think this morning, uh, you know, uh, after uh, after. Uh, the 8.30 service, I had uh, several folks, uh, almost everybody, I think, uh, who came up and made a comment of how uh, somehow they, uh, they had experienced uh, what, uh, what, what I'm, what, what I'm going to talk about. Uh, and, and it's true, it will benefit uh, mothers, it will benefit your relationship uh, with your sons if you, uh, if you'll practice uh, this, this, uh, this lesson this morning. Uh, fathers with your daughters, uh, men with your mothers your sisters, uh, the women in your life, if you understand uh, the principle that Paul uh, lays out. Dr. Emerson Egrich was the first one that I know of uh, who labeled this uh, as the crazy cycle. Uh, and, and the crazy cycle is quite simply uh, when we don't follow uh, what Paul writes here. When Paul says, husbands, love your wives, wives reverence or respect uh, your husband. And uh, very simply, uh, once we break one side of that, it begins to, uh, it begins to, to feed uh, each other. And I find it very interesting. I, I never thought about it. And uh, honestly, this is something I, I wish I would have heard uh, heard, learned uh, 30 years ago or more, Uh, because I've read this verse before and thought about it uh, and and never really understood why. Uh, When you look at it, does it strike you as as odd as it did me that Paul says, husbands love your wives, but he doesn't tell the wife to love her husband. And then when you look at it, it says, wives respect your husband, but it doesn't say for husbands to respect uh, their wife. Now, I don't know about you, but that strikes me as a little bit odd until I begin to think about uh, what uh, little uh, I know about men and women. And uh, I, I'll go from the women's side of it first of all. Why, why does God say to, why, why doesn't God say uh, for husbands, uh, for wives to, to love their husbands? Now, 
I think most of you, uh, and let me say up front, this is a general generalization. I, I know there are, are nutcase men out there, there are strange women. I, I know this may not be 100%. I'm speaking in, in generalities here. For the most part, I, I think this is, is fairly, uh, fairly safe. Most women, uh, they don't have to be taught how to love. It's just, it's just in their genetics. It's just who they are. Nobody has to, uh, to, to teach a mother, uh, you know, to put a little note in your lunch, I love you and hope you have a good day. Uh, you know, they, they don't, nobody has to teach a, a, a woman those things. Nobody has to, uh, to, to teach uh, a woman to be loving. On the other hand, men, we're sometimes not real good at it. We think, well, we changed your flat tire. What do you want? You know, uh, that's kind of, you know, uh, that's kind of our idea of love. You know, we, uh, you know, the power bill's paid. What more do you want? You know, uh, uh, that kind of thing. That's generally the way uh, that uh, men think. Uh, doesn't mean men don't want love. Doesn't mean, mean men don't need love. It just means that it's more the, the language, the natural language uh, uh, of the female. On the other hand, men value respect. Uh, men think uh, a great deal of respect. I don't care if you love me or not. You're going to respect me. Uh, you know, some of you have probably heard that from your father. Maybe you said that to your children. I don't care if you love me or not, but you're going to respect me as long as you live here. Uh, you know, that, that respect is, uh, is very important uh, to a man. And, and so we, we don't have to be told uh, to respect. Most men, uh, most men, again, I know there's some knuckleheads out there, but most men, uh, don't have much problem with respecting uh, a woman. They, they have no real issue with holding doors and, uh, and some of those kind of things. Getting up and giving their chair to a, uh, to a lady when she walks in the room. You know, respect is something that uh, most of us, uh, again, we're taught it's just kind of something uh, in our genetics. Again, being loving, sometimes we struggle with that. When we don't, you know, we, we don't get it. We mowed the yard, you know, uh, you know, you know that, what, what else do you want? We painted the living room. You know, those are, you know, man, man thinks he's, you know, man thinks he's went out of the way. Man walks through the house and picks up his dirty underwear out the floor. He thinks he's cleaned house. I mean, you know, uh, you know, that's, a, you know, woman's been washing loads of clothes all day long. We pick up a pair of socks and, you know, look what I did. You know, we, you know, we, you know, we, we have a, we, there's a difference in us and, um, and, and you know that. Now, let, let's talk here uh, what, what, uh, what Egrich identified and, and, and if you read anything he writes, he almost uh, always ends up back at, at this passage of Scripture. Husbands, love your wives. Wives, uh, respect uh, your husbands. And, and, and he does it this way. He puts it in what, uh, and this isn't my drawing, I, I give him credit, uh, that uh, th this is the crazy cycle. What happens is, is uh, whichever one starts it, if the woman reacts without love, if the woman doesn't, uh, or doesn't show respect, then he reacts without showing love. And when she reacts without show, or he reacts without showing love, then she reacts without showing respect. And then he reacts without showing love, and then she reacts without showing respect, and then then we're on the cycle. And, and, and you know, what started out as a disagreement over who was going to pick up those dirty socks, uh, you know, turns into a huge argument. What happens is, and, and you know, th this is difficult uh, for for again men. Uh, you know, men. Have, you know, we we just. <laughs> You know, uh, we we uh, we struggle with this uh, with this concept because again we think differently. What uh, you know when when um, uh, you know when when a woman walks through and sees our uh, you know our, our dirty clothes in the floor, she looks at that and says, "He doesn't love me," or he'd put those in the hamper. When she says something to him about that, then he says, "She doesn't respect me. That's my stuff. I'll put it where I want to." And then he says, tend to your business. And she says, he doesn't love me, or he wouldn't have told me to tend to my business. And so then she cooks something for supper he doesn't like. And then he says, you burn it. And it just goes round and round and round. 
When he reacts without love, she reacts without respect. And then he reacts without love and she reacts without respect because we are wired so differently. I read in, in studying, I read of a story uh, of one lady who her 10th anniversary was coming up. And she said, uh, you know, her husband usually didn't do much for anniversaries, but she thought because it was the 10th one uh, that he would really, you know, that, that he would probably recognize the 10th anniversary for sure. Uh, and, and so, uh, sure enough, he comes in on the 10th anniversary and he's got her a card. And, and she opened and she's just thrilled to death. Uh, you know, he's brought her a card. He's remembered uh, their 10th anniversary. And she opens it up, and, and on the outside, it's got this just wonderful verse. And when she opens it up, it's a birthday card. He hadn't read the whole card. And what does she hear? You know, she doesn't see that this man went to one of the most uncomfortable aisles in the whole store for him, uh, for her. She doesn't see that he went and spent three or four bucks on a piece of paper, which to him was the most stupid thing he'd ever done in his life. You know, uh, she doesn't see any of that. She sees he doesn't love me or he would have been more careful in the card he picked out. So, how does she react? Does this sound familiar? You don't care. You didn't even pay us any attention. What does he hear? She doesn't respect me. She doesn't appreciate me. And so what does he do? He says, I'm just going back to work. Well, if he walks out and goes back to work, that says to her, he doesn't love me enough to settle this. See the cycle? It goes on and on and on. It's the way men and women relate to each other. Give you an example of how it works. Men are just, men, men again, since men, men, I think most men in here will verify this since the time we were children, since the time we were young. We may not want to admit this, but since the time we were young, we have been working for respect. We have, been, we have been striving to show that we are, we are worthwhile. We have been show, striving and working to prove that we have what it takes, that we can be the man of the house, that we can provide for our family, that, that we can take care of our, uh, our, our spouse, our children. And, and we have been working on that, and that has been driving us. It, it, it's the fuel that uh, just fires a man's soul uh, to, to prove that he is worthwhile. And Ladies, when you say something, and again, I'm not saying you're intentionally disrespectful, but when you say something that questions his self-worth, that questions his ability to provide, that challenges his manhood, you, you may as well spit in his face, just to be perfectly honest with you. Just to, and, and I will promise you that he will respond by not showing you love. Promise you that he will do something that makes you feel not loved. Again, it's the difference. Uh, John Eldridge writes this. He, he says, men desperately need to know who we are and if we have what it takes, uh, a, a hunger so essential to our souls that it will compel us to find a resolution in truth. It drives everything we do. Ladies, if you know anything about men, you know that if you throw a piece of competition in front of us, it doesn't matter if it's drink that Coca-Cola first or run a marathon or jump off the top of the building. We will kill ourselves. Am I right? Men won't respect. Women won't love. How, how, well, what does it look like for, for a woman to show respect? Now, and... You know, uh, and again, there's a reason the Bible talks about this. If you watch women get together, uh, you know, they're, they're all about emotion. They're all about love. I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're all about getting in their little huddles and, you know, and, and, and you know, just uh, getting together. And, you know, you have never been in a restaurant where sitting around a table, you know, man looked at Tommy, I'm going to the bathroom, won't go. You know, never. You know, we don't do things that way. We're different. It's just not the way we function. You also have very, that's the reason there's always a line outside the women's bathroom. It's because two-thirds of them don't have to be there. They just went with their friend. They, they, they travel in packs. You know, that's just the way they work. They're emotional. You know, I almost guarantee you, in the history of mankind, there has been very few times when a man ever called his wife at work and said, Honey, when you get home, we need to talk. We don't want to talk. <laughs> we want to left alone. But women need to talk. 
And by honey, what, honey, we need to talk, what that means is, honey, you need to listen. You know, that's what that means. How does a woman show respect? You know, you, you show respect in, in, in his job, in his achievements. I told you last week, ladies, if you don't hear anything I say in, 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 in this series on, on relationships, you hear this. I promise you, your man is like a big dumb dog. If you will pat him on top of the head, scratch him behind the ear, and say, good boy, he will fight fire for you. He will go to the mat for you. If he hangs up a picture, even if it's crooked, say, thank you, you did good. When he walks out of the room, straighten it, but keep your mouth shut. Because if you say something about that picture being crooked, you'll never get another picture hung up. When he buys you something, you make like it's the prettiest thing you've ever seen. You make like it's the best. And I know sometimes that's hard. I know. Listen, I know. I didn't say, listen, I want to tell you something. What, what Paul is saying, when Paul says, husbands love your wives, wives respect your husbands, he doesn't say respect them when they are respectable. He doesn't say love them when they're lovable. He says, husbands love your wives. He says, wives respect your husbands. See, there's a difference in showing respect and feeling respect. You may not always feel like right now he deserves respect, but you got him, you married him. Suck it up and deal with him. Respect him. The more you criticize him, the worse he'll get, I'll guarantee you. Guarantee you. You know, women are just the opposite. You say to a lady, so you, you just make some passing comment about the outfit they've got on, They'll go change the entire thing, top to bottom. Top to bottom. You know, men, you tell them that doesn't match, they'll wear it to spite you. <laughs> they'll wear it to see your mama, just to spite you. If this doesn't match, wait till I see what I wear next week. <laughs> men do not respond very well to criticism, ladies. Men respond well to respect. Show them respect and, and, and show, appreciate their, their desire to protect and provide. I'm telling you, you pat him on the head every now and then, tell him, good boy, scratch him behind the ear. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just happy if he had good sense. I'm telling you, it, 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 it's just it's the way the Bible. I love it when, when science and experience verifies what the Bible said to start with. Husbands respect him, wives respect him, husbands love her. Yeah, uh, and, and, and I don't mean to spend more time on this side of it, I just know more about this side. You know, um, and you know, you you, you, uh, you know their, their desire. You know, respect their desire for intimacy. For you know that they want to be they want to be helpers. You know, and again, why why do women have trouble dealing with that? Is because that's not the way they're wired. Now, how many women in here like football? Just a couple. Most women do not like football because of the contact of it. But you watch men. They'll go out there, and you ever watch a football game? They'll go out there and they'll bust each other out and then they'll help each other up. They get done, they'll go out in the middle of the field and pray together. You know, things like that. Because men value the, the contest and, you know, they, they want to be respected for each other. Now, the other side of that is, and so ladies, I'm telling you, when you're dealing with your sons, again, mothers, when, you, when you're dealing with your sons, I know that it's natural to want to tell them you love them and, and, and carve a little, make their sandwich into the shape of a heart and, and, and all that kind of stuff. You know, I know all those things are just, just lovely and you want to, you know, uh, you know there, there's a reason you never see ladies in the floor sending their husband roses. You know, we don't care. We don't want them. We see it. Why don't we all that money? You know, I don't know that fishing rod. You know, just give me the money. We, we're different. You know, most women, again, not all women, most women, you send them flowers especially to work in front of their co-workers? Oh, you know, you, you, you know, now some, I know some women, I don't particularly like flowers, but so, you know, you, you got to find what works. You've got to show love. Now, men, what happens? Uh, and, and you know it escalates. Men, when, when it comes to, to showing love. Uh, you know, we have that. Again, let me tell you something, ladies. Let me, let me, before I move to women. Men were asked. And, and, and it's almost impossible to have a relationship where there are not disagreements and trouble. Men were asked, 
in the middle of a disagreement, a conflict with your spouse, which do you feel? They were given a choice. I don't feel loved or I don't feel respected. I'm doing this from memory. I believe it was 88.1% said I do not feel respected. I will tell you, I, I probably should have asked this question ahead of time. I will tell you in almost 33 years, I have never once questioned my wife's love. I know she loves me. She'd have left me a long time ago. No doubt about it. You know, some of y'all saw the thing I put on Facebook this week. It said, honey, embrace your mistakes. And she hugged my neck. And, you know, uh, that, you know, that's, you know, I understand that. But I will tell you, and I think if she's honest, she knows that there have been times when, when I have felt disrespected. I don't think, you know, I hadn't always loved her like I should, but, but I, you know, uh, I hadn't always respected her like I should, but there will be times when Rhonda will tell you that she didn't feel very loved. Your wife will say the same thing, by the way. Your husband will say the same thing. It's the way we're wired. Men, how do we show, show wives love? Uh, listen, she, she wants to be close. She, she wants you to, uh, to know this. Why Paul said, why Paul commands husbands love your wives. Because it's not natural for us. Again, we think we've loved because we went to work today. We went and we worked all day. We want to sit down and leave us alone. No, that doesn't show her love. That's, you know, she, that's, not, that, that's not how she works. She wants you to sit down and, and, and listen to her. She wants you to, to be close. She wants you to talk. God forbid. I know men. She, she wants you to, to open up. She, she doesn't want you to fix it. I told you this last week. She doesn't want you to fix it. She just wants you to try to understand it. Sit and listen even when it doesn't make sense. She wants to know you're, you're committed. She wants you to, to honor her. Most men would say they try to put their wife on a pedestal. And by that, they mean things like, you know, they, they respect her, those kind of things. Women don't care as much about her. I'm not saying they don't want to be respected. I'm saying they want to feel loved. They want to know you care, that you're all in. Now, again, this is, in my opinion, this is a little more of a moving target. Because all, all, all the women, you know, again, mine doesn't like chocolate. You know, mine not real crazy about flowers. So, you know. Yours, you know, everybody's a little different target. But those are the small things that show her you love her. Now, here's the key. Paul, again, says, husbands, love your wives. He doesn't say, love her if she reverences you. He says, love her. You know what the word love is? Now, some of you may or may not know much about Greek and biblical words. But you know what the word love is here in in Ephesians? It's the biblical word, it's the Greek word, agape. It's the word for God's love. It's the word for unconditional love. It's the word for how God loves us. Where the Bible says that He loved us while we were yet sinners. That's the word He's talking about here. He says, husbands, you love your wives unconditionally. Not because she's showing respect. You know, again, most of us, here's, here's the key to, to making a relationship. Here's the key to, to making, whether it's your husband, your spouse, your children, here's the key to it. Take the, the re off the word and the word act. The problem is we react. When she reacts without respect, we react without love. When she reacts without love or without respect, men, you act with love. Don't react, act with love. Because you know as well as I do, when, when, um, you know, when, when, when your wife does something, she questions you, 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 you come in with a, a birthday card on her anniversary, she says, you're just sorry. Well, you can't cook. You know, you know how it works. You know, you, you know, you are your mama. You know, we, you know, we, we're not, you know, we're going to fire back. That's just the way it works. You know, y'all looking at me like I'm making this junk up. Y'all got to remember, your, your children come and talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I know how it works. We react. When she does react without respect, you act in love anyway. When he does act without love, you act in respect anyway. You don't see any conditions 
on this verse. You don't see that if He loves you, then you respect Him. If she respects you, then you love her. No, He says husbands love your wives. End of discussion. Wives respect your husbands. End of discussion. I want you to look with me at two more drawings that have come out of Dr. Edgerson's thing. He calls this the energizing cycle. I love this one. His love motivates her respect. Her respect motivates his love. Husbands, when if, if you will love her, she'll respect you. If she respects him, he'll love her. And it'll just go around and around. What happens is when you break that cycle, you go back to that other one. When you react, Instead of act. I like the energizing cycle and then the rewarded cycle. You can look at it either way. You're rewarded. His love regardless of her respect. His love regardless of her respect. Even if she says, you don't make enough money. Even if she says, my sister's husband makes more money. My sister, I wish I should have married him. That kind of junk. Whatever kind of chopping off of the legs she does. If regardless of what she does, you love her. You love her. Even if it doesn't change her, you love her. Because God doesn't say, husbands, love your wives if or till or when. He says, husbands, love your wives. In another place, he puts it this way. Love her even as Christ loved the church. He doesn't say, wives, respect respect your husband if he does this. He says, respect your husband. He doesn't say, respect him when he does this. I can tell you, and I've done it myself, I've seen it, and... I don't know how to put this exactly and get it right. Ladies seem to be experts at just chopping the legs out from under their men. They know just where to hit them. They know just where to chop them. And as good, as expert as they are at chopping the legs out from under their men, men stink at figuring out ways to show them they love them. Little ways. You don't have to go buy her a new car. She'll take it. But little ways. You know, loading the dishwasher. Little things that show her that you love her. I, di- I didn't ask permission. Jackie, please forgive me. I'm fixing to use you as an example. Is that okay? Okay. You don't even know what I'm going to say, but you're going you're gonna to be brave enough to say okay. I'll tell you something I've noticed. That Jackie... And I'm not going to put Kevin on the spot because the way he talks, he'd never quit. Um, (laughs) I've noticed this, and I don't know if Kevin ever even sees it or not. But I don't know that there's many weeks that go by that Jackie doesn't put something publicly out on Facebook out about how proud she is of Kevin and his work ethic and how much he works and how much she loves him. I don't know that there's many weeks go by that, that she doesn't do that. It's, it's regular. It's sick. You know, no, I'm just kidding. You know, just, you know, I'll tell you something. You know, that makes all the difference in the world. You know, men, pat us on the head. If you don't learn anything else, I'm telling you, pat us on the head, scratch us behind the ear. And if you do have to occasionally kick us in the rear end, do it at home. Do it at home. Don't do it in front of everybody. Don't do it to your friends. Your friends ought to think, ought to be jealous and think you married the best man in the world. Even if at home you want to choke him. That's what they ought to think. You love her. You respect him. Get off the crazy side. Because I'll promise you, it never ends. It never ends.
I want to ask you to bow your heads this morning. Our musicians are going to come. I pray that God has taken a few moments of bumbling and stumbling to get across to you something that others have studied for years and spent hours and hours trying to explain, written numerous books trying to get the point across. To begin to whet your appetite, to begin to cause your eyes to be open, to see. You think back over the years at the, the conflict. Let's just go ahead and use the word, the arguments you've had with your spouse, your children, the men, the women in your life. How many times has it came because, ladies, you didn't respect it? Or at least you didn't show respect. Maybe in your heart you did, but what you said cut his legs out from under. And he responded by making you feel unloved. Men, if we're honest, how many times have we said or done things that made, a, made our spouse feel unloved? She responded by disrespecting us. And we responded and we get on that cycle. If you think back over your marriage, you think back over your time together, you think about how many times you've got on that wheel and you've run it like a hamster. She disrespected, you didn't love. She disrespected, you didn't love. And it just goes round and round. And what started out as something simple, what started out as why are those socks in the floor, what started out as why is there dirty dishes in the sink, what started out as why don't you carry out the trash, has turned into a huge, huge argument simply because of this truth. Husbands, love your wives. Wives, respect your husbands. This morning you want to come, you want to bring your spouse with you. You want to come by yourself. Lord, forgive me, I haven't always shown my husband the respect he deserves. Father, teach me to show my wife how I love her. God, you know my heart. You, you know I love her. But God, I realize this morning sometimes I stink at showing it. I could do something as simple as pick up my socks. I could carry out the trash without being asked. I could wash her car for her. I could send her a flower at work. I could just call her for no reason, tell her I love her, thinking about her. I could get her an anniversary card for her anniversary. I could do maybe some of those little things I used to do when we were dating, when I was trying to catch her. Ladies, you say things about your husband now you'd have never said about him when you were 15, 16 years old. You say things to your friends, to your mother, to him, that you would have never in a million years said just a few years ago. If you disrespect him, he won't show you love. I'll promise you that. You need to come individually and say, Lord, help me. Help me to show love. Help me to show respect. Help me in my relationship with my children. Help me in my relationship with my brother, my sister. I'm telling you, this rule is true whether it's your husband or not. You disrespect a man, he won't show you love. You don't show a woman love, she won't show you respect, whether it's your wife, your sister, or the lady you work with. Lord, help me. Help our marriage, help our home, help our relationships as we stand together. <clears> Thank <throat> you.